Hi, my name is John Coder, and I'm a math consultant with Faith Christian Academy in Arvada, Colorado. We're going to find out how to find the length and width of a cylinder. The most common cylinder is a can, a can of soup or a can of beans. To find the length and width of a cylinder, we can use a low ruler and find the height, which in this case is four inches, and the width, if we measure it, is equal to three inches. Now notice that when I measured the width, I actually measured straight across the diameter of the circle, which is the shape of the top of the can. Looking at this picture, we talk about the height of a can or of a cylinder as being the height from top to bottom. The diameter is equal to the width, which would be the line straight across. Now comparing the di diameter and the radius, if we stick a pin right down the middle of the can, this distance, which is half the diameter, is equal to the radius. The circumference is also a term that is used frequently with cylinders. And the circumference is the distance around the top of a cylinder. My name is John Coder. I'm a math consultant with Faith Christian Academy in Arvada, Colorado and we just found out how to find the length and width of a cylinder. Thanks for watching.